Leah from Keeping It Real, and I thought I would share my weekly planner with you. Now, I went with a jungle theme this week, and I think I need to explain this to you because it is Memorial Day, and I am very, very thankful for everyone who did Memorial Day layouts, patriotic layouts for their planners. Um, I'm, I'm touched. I'm deeply touched. But uh, I went with the jungle theme because my grandson Wyatt is having a birthday on Saturday and his theme is jungle and I needed something happy. I needed something joyous. I needed a celebration of life. Um, and so I went with this jungle theme like him. And let, let me explain why. Um, in 2008, my son was stationed in Iraq with the 1132nd MPs, and he was at Rustamaya. Um, he was actually at Taji, but um, his unit was at Rustamaya. But um, to make a long story short, between March 24th and April 18th, I went to five funerals of mamas whose blue stars had turned to gold who lost their babies, who lost their their heart over there in Iraq. Now, my son was in an IED attack. He was hit by a deep buried IED. He was driving. His buddy Parrish was in the passenger seat, and his best buddy Eeks was gunning. And the Humvee flipped and landed upside down and Josh managed to open his door. He went around to help Parrish out and he reached back and he grabbed Eeks's foot and he said, Lance, Lance, come on, we're okay. Except Lance didn't move because Lance wasn't okay. Lance had lost his life for his country in that IED attack. And it was one of the most painful episodes in my life having to go to that funeral having to get a call from the DOD um, it was unbearable and one of the women who came and sat with me knowing my son was wounded in Iraq um, a year later she had lost her son to an IED attack so my wounds, even though it's been since 2008, are still raw, and I am not ready to do a Memorial Day planner yet. It's not that I'm not patriotic, and it's not that I don't appreciate everybody who does a patriotic layout, but this is just what I need to do for myself right now. So, let's get into it. Um, the washi tapes are from my friend Kathy. Um, she blessed me with a whole bunch of washies for my birthday. The jungle stamps I just got up at Michael's this last past week, as well as the cupcake stickers. I think those are just adorable. This little banana is just a button, and I'm not quite sure where I got that, or the monkey that I made the paper clip out of. But anyhow, those are the extra embellishments, and let's see what I've got going on this week. Um, I also have this little to-do pad that I stuck onto the side. I'm a great list maker, and every day I love to make lists. I love to check off lists. <sighs> True confession here, keeping it real. I love to do something, and if it's not on the list, I'll write it on the list so I can check it off. That's just me. So I have one each day of the week I can just tear off um, as the day goes by. Um... We're supposed to take the kids to the park tomorrow. We have a really nice park halfway between my son and I. And that looks like it's not going to happen because Tropical Storm Bonnie kind of is blowing outside. And so we'll probably just tunker down, read a few books. I do need to write out um, my mom's bills. She's in memory care. And so I need to write out that bill and the bill for medication and things like that. I have to get some snail mails done this week. I recently joined a snail mail Facebook group and I love 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 to write snail mail letters um, Tuesday my mother-in-law has her last chemo infusion yay um, they did six chemo treatments before she has surgery 
um, to shrink the tumor in her breast. And so we are very excited. This is her last infusion. We are just thanking God and praying that she gets through okay. This is also going to be my cleaning day. Usually Mondays are my cleaning day, but since my hubby is going to be home that day, I love to spend time with him. So I just kind of threw this over to Tuesday. And across here, you can just see my menu. Um, just kind of a rough outline of like salmon, ground beef. Chris cooks on Wednesdays. We're going to have chicken, shrimp. I just kind of keep it open. Wednesday I work. That's my full day of work. I'll go to the post office. I've got a couple pocket letters to mail out. If anyone wants to exchange pocket letters, let me know. Um, I need to get my car tags. <coughs> um, I hate waiting in that line, but it's a necessity. You've got to do it once a year. You pay your taxes, and uh, got to get your car inspected and get your tags, and all that's done there. Um, there's a car class from TT Scraps that's going to happen online. It's free at 7 o'clock that night. If you are not a subscriber of TT Scraps, I'll leave the link below and go ahead and check her out. I think that should be a really fun class. Um, I'm also going to finish up cleaning or at least tidy the house for the weekend on Thursday. There's Facey helping me do the planner. Um, Friday, I need to go check on my mother. She has a bunch of things that um, I need to take to her. Um, just some of the necessities for memory care. It's also my niece Shelby's birthday. And Sue has a doctor's appointment to find out when her surgery is going to be. And then Saturday is Wyatt's birthday. We are just planning on a wonderful day to celebrate his wonderful life. He is really a miracle baby. Um, he was born and immediately was pronounced um, brain dead, but he moved his little hand and they ended up putting him on a cooling blanket that lowered his core temperature to 86 degrees. And he was on there for three days and they kept saying he wasn't going to eat, he wasn't going to do this, he wasn't going to do that, but he is just perfect now. The, no problem so far. So we just will celebrate his life on Saturday. Um, and then my goal for this week is to read Keeping It Quiet, Keep a Quiet Heart by Elizabeth Elliot, my mother-in-law, and I started that book when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer, and I just feel since this is her last infusion that it would be a great idea to finish up that book. So anyhow, this is my weekly planner. Um, pray for those mamas whose blue stars have turned to gold. For those mamas like me whose blue stars have turned to silver because it's a tough battle being the mama of one who has returned. Um, that might seem like a really strange statement, but if you're a mama whose child has been wounded in Iraq and suffers from PTSD, you certainly know exactly what I'm talking about. So. Pray for all of our soldiers. Pray for all of our mamas. Pray for all of our babies. You know, really, on both sides of the war, who have lost children, and uh, pray for wives. And it's just a very solemn holiday. And I hope that amongst your fun, because these these folks fought for you to have fun, that you just take a moment and are thankful for their sacrifice. And we just we just pray for all of them. And so if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.